Good afternoon, and welcome to our Sunday devotion to St. Joseph. I'm Deacon Rick Heath. St. Joseph, because of his unique relationship to Jesus and Mary, is among heaven's most powerful intercessors. Our own Saint Brother Andre had a special devotion to Saint Joseph and founded the oratory in Montreal in his honor. This stands as one of the world's largest Christian shrines today. In keeping with our church's proclamation of the year of Saint Joseph, we offer this opportunity today to honor Saint Joseph ourselves by participating in the seven Sundays devotion to St. Joseph. So for the next seven Sundays leading up to the feast of St. Joseph, we will be reflecting on both the sorrows and the joys in St. Joseph's life through prayer, scripture, and reflection. Today, we will look at the sorrow of Joseph as he struggled with the knowledge that Mary was pregnant and what his response should be to this devastating news. The sense of betrayal he must have felt not knowing what Mary's mission was going to be. But we will also reflect on his great joy to discover that Mary's courage in saying yes to God was indeed part of the divine plan, not only for Mary, but also for himself as well. And so at this time, let us join in prayer. St. Joseph, spouse of Mary, great was the trouble and anguish of your heart when you were considering quietly sending away your beautiful spouse. Yet your joy was unspeakable when the surpassing mystery of the incarnation was made known to you by the angel. By this sorrow and this joy, we beseech you to comfort our souls, both now and in the sorrows of our final hour, with the joy of a good life and a holy death, after the pattern of your own life and death in the arms of Jesus and Mary. Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Now the birth of Jesus the Messiah took place in this way. When his mother Mary had been engaged to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found to be with child from the Holy Spirit. Her husband Joseph, being a righteous man and unwilling to expose her to public disgrace, planned to dismiss her quietly. But just when he had resolved to do this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife, for the child conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what had been spoken by the Lord through the prophet. Look. The virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and they shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. And so, <clears throat> in the course of that pilgrimage of faith that was his life, Joseph, like Mary, remained faithful to God's call. While Mary spoke her assent to the angel at her Annunciation, at the moment of Joseph's own Annunciation, he said nothing. Instead, he simply did as the angel of the Lord commanded him. This good and honorable man who loved his wife Mary and the child Jesus was bound to them with a lifelong love and commitment that would certainly have helped to shape the life of Jesus, his son. And so in our need, we humbly ask Joseph to pray for us. Dear Saint Joseph, pray for us that we will faithfully imitate you in our daily lives. Pray for us that we will act with unselfish love to those around us. 
pray for us that we seek the will of God as you often did throughout your life. And pray for us that we will faithfully accept our mission that God has given us and take it upon our shoulders as you did so eloquently in your life. Amen. Thank you so much for joining me this evening. And please join us next week for the second Sunday of our devotion to St. Joseph. In addition to myself, we will also be led in these devotions by diaconate candidates, Dan Bianchi, in fourth year of formation at St. Peter's Seminary, and Jeff Sylvester, in second year of formation. Until that, until then, good night and God bless.